Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science, it's Mike Chen. If you believe that eventually the zombie apocalypse will happen, then you might have given some thought as to how long it would take for the zombies to take over the world. And according to physics students from the University of Leicester, it would take only a hundred days for Earth to become the planet of the zombies. And after those a hundred days, only about 300 uninfected humans will still be alive. So basically a real life Walking Dead residential evil scenario. This research was picked up by a lot of media outlets recently and look, it's crazy because we all know that eventually it's either going to be the robots or dragons that will wipe us out, but this topic is interesting, so let's talk about it. Here's how they came up with the 100 day state. The students used the SIR model, a model that describes the spread of a disease throughout a population. It was used to predict the spread of infectious diseases like measles and Ebola. And according to their calculations, once a human being runs into a zombie, the zombie has a 90% chance of infecting the human. And if each each zombie can turn one human a day, then after the 100 days has gone by, there would only be 273 remaining human survivors. And they're going to be outnumbered a million to one by the zombies. But the good thing is this calculation did not factor in our ability to actually kill the zombies and the remaining humans repopulating. So if you consider those things, then the chances of us surviving the zombie apocalypse greatly increases. Also, I think it depends on what type of zombies, right? Because you got the zombies from The Walking Dead, which moves pretty slow. Then you got the Resident Evil ones where the majority of them moves pretty slow, but then you got creepy huge zombie monsters. Then you have the World War Z I Am Legend ones which are basically super zombies. Now this was not the first time the SIR model has been used to calculate how fast the zombies could wipe us out. In 2015, a team of Cornell researchers figured out how fast a zombie outbreak was spread across the United States. According to their calculations, dense major populated cities would fall first, with most of them completely infected within the first 28 days, then the zombies will invade the suburbs and the Midwest, with the most dangerous place being northeastern Pennsylvania because that area is susceptible to infections coming from all major metropolitan areas on the East Coast. Also, while looking into this topic, I was surprised to find that the zombie apocalypse scenario has been considered quite a bit by governments as well. For example, did you know that according to an unclassified document titled CONOP 8888, Officials from the Pentagon used the scenario of a planet-wide attack by the Walking Dead as a training template for how to plan for real-life large-scale operations, emergencies, and catastrophes. I mean, the government even covered scenarios on how to deal with different types of zombies. According to the documents, zombie life forms could be created via some sort of occult experimentation in what might otherwise be referred to as evil magic. Then, supposedly, there are vegetarian zombies that pose no threat to humans due to their exclusive consumption of vegetation. And then finally, there are zombie life forms created after an organism is infected with a high dose of radiation. The document also covers detailed information such as general zombie awareness training, the recalling of all available military personnel to restoring civil authority after the brain eaters have been defeated. Oh, and to kill a zombie, the document says, the only assumed way to effectively cause casualties to the zombie ranks by tactical force is the concentration of all firepower to the head, specifically the brain. The only way to ensure a zombie is dead is to burn the zombie corpse. I mean, for a training document, this thing lists out almost every possible scenario of a zombie apocalypse. It also talks about a chain of command from the president on down, along with the roles to be played by the state department and the intelligence community for dealing with the zombie apocalypse. Of course, officials at the Pentagon says that the report in no way signals an invasion of zombies is on the horizon, but maybe there's something they're not telling us. Also, I do have to wonder, I mean, fine, the zombie apocalypse may not actually happen, but it's good to be prepared. But what about other scenarios like the robot apocalypse or I don't know, Leviathan? Shouldn't we have something in place for those as well? And to be honest, the dragon apocalypse seems a lot worse than the zombie apocalypse. And I doubt Matthew McConaughey is going to step up and save us. And I'm pretty sure we don't have any black arrows. Ooh, you know what could be worse than a zombie apocalypse or a dragon apocalypse? Think about this. What if there was a dragon zombie apocalypse? Then we'd probably just get wiped out in one day. This is also why I feel like we need to move to Mars sooner. Zombies can't travel through space, right? But maybe a dragon zombie can? Anyway, when I saw this zombie story floating around, I thought it would be a very interesting topic for discussion. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's say there was a zombie apocalypse. Let's say there's a dragon apocalypse or a robot apocalypse or a dragon zombie apocalypse. 
apocalypse, what would you do in those scenarios? I'm pretty sure moving to Mars would solve majority of that, except for the robot apocalypse. But if it was just a zombie or dragon apocalypse, I would live in a submarine. But let me know what you guys would do. Thank you all so much for watching.